Happy holidays, everyone. This is Tina and welcome back. So today I have an exciting video for you because, oh my God, I'm going to show you 10, yes, 10 glam, elegant, and easy hairstyles for your holiday parties. So if you like lots of hairstyles in a single video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and let's get started. And hairstyle number one is a beachier wave. So I always cuss when I say that word. And I'm also going to show you guys my hair care routine because my hair has been looking so much better. So right out of the shower, what I do is I use a drop of the M72 Ceramide Serum from Afonti. This oil, you guys, is intense because it's made for extremely brittle and damaged hair. And then what I do is I divide my hair into two big sections and use the leave-in treatment. Now this treatment is, oh my god, you guys, this is, it has totally replaced my L'Oreal leave-in conditioner that I've been using and been raving about for a year because this product removes the frizz like none other products I've ever used. So right after I apply the treatment and then I comb it through, I normally just let it air dry. I never blow dry my hair, but for the sake of this tutorial, I did finger blow dry it. So now I'm going to start curling my hair from the bottom up using a one and a quarter inch curling iron. And I totally forgot to tell you guys that treatment that I used before has the heat protectant built into it and a static guard. So if you have staticky winter hair, this product will also prevent static from happening. It is, oh, I love it so much. So for this technique, you are going to need a normal curling iron. So here's an example. You're going to grab a two in section and then wrap it around the wand going away from your face. If it's the hair around your face for everything else, it really doesn't matter. Okay. So we're going to wrap this around the iron, leaving out the ends, then wait five seconds. So count to five, then twist one loop out of the wand and stretch your hair tautly. Then wait three seconds to unloop it again. Then lastly, you're gonna glide the iron all the way towards the end, and you're gonna do this method all the way around your whole head. And as far as what shampoo and conditioner I'm using right now, it is called the M72 Ceramide from Amfanti Premium. But if you guys don't know what ceramide is, it's basically glue or cement that keeps your cuticles closed. So it keeps the good moisture in, keeps the bad stuff out. But over time, if you overprocess your hair, what happens is the, the ceramide level goes down, thus your hair starts looking frizzy and dry and gets goes right down to crap, right? I know I was talking really slowly there because I really want wanted to make sure you guys fully understood the importance of this hair care because it's not like any other hair care on the market. I want you to know that I've tested this product out for two months and I don't even have to tell you guys how amazing it is. So if you have dry frizzy hair, definitely check this out. So I'm going to leave a link down below for you guys. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a happy and hairstyle number two is the classic twisted braid. And I'm gonna start by teasing my roots here, but you can skip this part entirely if you want to. But wanna know something funny? I did this entire tutorial wearing my shirt backwards and I didn't even realize what was going on until I finished everything. Anyway, so after you tease your hair, you're gonna gather your crown and make a top to tail. And then just repeat it with the bottom layers of your hair. bun so for this one you're going to clip out the sides and put the rest into a low bun you can do any kind of buns for this but for me i like to keep things simple by just twisting it and then wrapping it around the self before pinning it down and then with the sides we're just going to cross over sections so what i mean by that is we're going to take some hair from the left and the right and cross the left section over and then you just repeat but the important thing to remember is you always have to cross it over or cross it under the same exact way each layer
and then when you end up with these two big sections we're gonna finish this off by wrapping it around the bun and then lastly you're gonna pull down the crisscross part to create separation and tug on the crown to create more volume at the top and you're done toys in every store but the prettiest sight to see is the holly that will be on your own front door a pair of hop along boots and a and hairstyle number four, also one of my favorites, is a half up French ponytail. So take your crown and make a half up ponytail. And just so you guys know, I did curl my hair again because it's fancier and I just felt like doing something different. So after making your ponytail, we're going to wrap a strand of hair around the elastic band to make it fancier. And then just repeat. And hairstyle number five is just so beautiful. So for this, we're gonna clip out our side hair and then tease our roots before putting the back section into a middle ponytail. And then just wrap the side sections around the hair elastic one by one and put it inside the hair elastic. Next, you're going to tease the ponytail to make it more voluminous, and we're done. Last and Christmas, I gave you my heart, but the very next day, you gave it away. You gave it away. This year, to save me from tears, I'll give it to someone special. And for hairstyle number six, we're going to add on to this ponytail and turn it into a chignon style. So after making this beautiful ponytail, you're gonna take the ends and wrap it around itself to form a bun. But if your hair is too short, just take a sock or donut and turn it into a donut bun. So at this point, what you're gonna do is tug on the left wrap portion to expand and exaggerate the waves because right where I'm pointing with my finger here is where you can stick a fancy hairpin in. And hairstyle number seven is a double bun style. It looked so cute when I saw it on Instagram, so I thought I would create it for you guys. So first, we're going to divide our hair in half and with one side, start a French rope braid. But just so you guys know, this style is difficult because a rope braid is where you take two strands, twist it in one direction, and then combine them by wrapping it in the opposite. I know that sounds so confusing, so I'm gonna link a tutorial down below for you guys where I show you guys step-by-step -step version of it but basically all I'm doing is twisting both sections towards the face and then taking the front section away and around the back strand to combine them okay so continue rope braiding all the way towards the neck before tying it with an elastic and then you just repeat it on the other side And lastly, make two buns with the ponytails and we're done.
dancing and prancing in Jingle Bell Square in the frosty and hairstyle number eight is a very simple crossed over half up style that's still one of the most popular most viewed hairstyle tutorial on this channel i put this hairstyle up like five years ago and it's still being watched it's amazing so for this you're gonna tease your crown and then take the crown into a half up tattoo tail ponytail and then grab the right section twist it lightly you can also tug on the sides to make it more voluminous and then pin the section right across the hair elastic Repeat on the other side and you're done. This is like, it's gonna take you guys literally like two minutes to do. And speaking of oldies, number 9 is the Gossip Girl inspired crisscross ponytail and for this one, I'm going to show you guys the hack method because it's a lot easier. What you're going to do is put your crown into a ponytail and then grab a thick section on your left side and pin it or tie it across on the right. And then you're going to take the right section and loop this section through the left side and tie it there. And then take the rest and put it into a low ponytail and wrap a hair around the elastic band. And lastly, you're going to pull down the first elastic band you use to scrunch everything down to create that crisscross look. Then we're done. And this last hairstyle is a lace braided side bun because I get asked to do side styles all the time. We're gonna make a side part and then clip out our crown to make a side bun. Then with your crown, we're gonna start a lace braid starting at your side part. A lace braid is where you add in hair only to one side. So continue lace braiding your hair towards the bun. All right, so when you get to about here, you're gonna tie the braid with an elastic and then wrap the ends around the bun to make it look bigger. And we're done. If you guys like today's hairstyles, but let me know down below which one was your favorite look from today. Be sure to subscribe, thumbs up, and a big thank you to Biokin Ceramide Hair Care for supporting this video. And I'll see you guys again next week. I love you guys. Have a beautiful weekend, everyone. Bye. Bye.